4.7. Okay, kiddos, two videos for the 4.6 classwork. This one's the easy part, these three. Um, here's your position versus time function, and they want you to find velocity and acceleration. That's just single and double derivative. Okay, so there's the two answers for one and two. And always, every time you have a position, velocity, or acceleration problem, you need to write this down, commit this to memory, write this on your gotta knows. You gotta do this. Okay, so let's put some equal signs down there. All right, and here's the answer for number three. You guys know that it's just smash and grab on both those first and second derivative. Okay, what's going to really drive your drive you nuts though is number four, five, and six. I'm going to explain number four in detail, and then show you the answers for five and six. Okay, so it's going to give you the position function. Then want you to find displacement and then distance traveled. Remember, distance traveled. I got the definitions right here. Displacement is just going to be the difference of the position functions. It's kind of like uh, f of b minus f of a. Distance is going to be the absolute value of the non-zero velocity intervals. Okay, so when let's let's find out from 9 to 15 what's the position of each of those at 9 and 15. You just plug in 9 and 15 into the function and find out it's negative 15 minus a negative 3, which is negative 12. All right. Then we need to find the velocity Then we need to find the velocity of each and you have to take the derivative of this and then set it equal to 0 and say hey it's z the velocity is 0 at 11. So what does that mean? We want to have the non-zero intervals. So we know this position this thing is moving from -3 to -12. All right. Or I'm sorry, the interval is from 9 to 15, but the velocity is 0 at 11. All right. So that means we take the absolute value of each position function. So we take the position function from where it's 0 to the first half of the interval, 9, okay, and take the absolute value of that and then add that to the other part of the interval, 11 to 15. Plug in 15 and 11. Make sure you're doing it at the position 11 minus the position at 9 position of 15 minus position of 11 and take the absolute value and then add those together and you'll get 20. Okay, so that's how you do number four. Here's the answers for number five. That one's a tricky one. And then you got some fractions to deal with for number six. Yay, fractions. Sorry about that pause in there. My dogs came running down the stairs.